Why does he low key look like <laughs> Eggman? I want to give him some eye drops so bad. We always have to have the fan service speech scene. What do you mean? That's in every anime. Oh. Rest in peace, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna guess that everybody in not the black school uniforms are a main character. I don't know. It's just a weird vibe I'm getting. Let's fucking go. Got this golf club and a tarot card. Why does he low-key look like <laughs> Eggman? <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. <laughs> Eggman summer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's my bad. I had it turned down when I was playing a different game yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's really far down. Is that better? My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Did I do it backwards? <laughs> My bad. Elliot, Elliot. <laughs> like Moon Moon. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. Oh, wait, no. What? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Proceed. Yes. Hmm. I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Look, it just said enter your name. I entered my name. Do you believe in fortune telling? Sure, why not? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Let's go. 
The tower. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... Hmm. The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the cup. Oh, one second, sorry. I'm gonna move chat up a little. days you will enter into a contract of some sort after which you will return here the coming year is a turning point in your destiny if the mystery goes unsolved your future may be forever lost my duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen I want to give him some eye drops so bad. Introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Why does she sound kind of <laughs> like Siri? <laughs> we shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Bring eye drops next time, sweet horn. Don't worry. We always have to have the fan service beach scene. What do you mean? That's in every anime. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. I wasn't expecting straight up anime scenes. This <laughs> Just about.
Picasso in a bar. Afternoon. <laughs> this is giving hey, PS2 vibes. <laughs> More handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. That's kind I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Oh, cool. Nice. What's up, uncle? It is? Okay. W once again, I didn't... I haven't... I know nothing about the Persona games. None of it. <laughs> Zero percent. been a long time so, you've really grown I still remember when you were in diapers this here yeah, is my shove daughter. her out there come on Nanako introduce yourself to your cousin <laughs> hello <laughs> what are you so shy for ow <laughs> Slap the shit out of him. <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You drop this. She doesn't look unfriendly. did was pick it up. What's wrong? I want, I want a poll so bad of who y'all think I'm gonna like the most. But I don't wanna like actually look at it because I don't want y'all swaying me. So I probably wouldn't look at the results. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Is she? I promise I won't beat it. It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. Rude. I hold my chopsticks in my left hand. I know why. Obviously. Uh, no. romance twice. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. I kind of wish I had auto. The city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. You literally have the cigarette in your mouth, bro. You're already smoking. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Oh. Are you okay? Let me see about. Did you get oh. car sick? You don't look too good. Oh, I read. I read out loud. Okay. 
Could it be exhaustion for the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Just felt lightheaded. Let's be honest. It's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Yeah, I can explore now. Let's go! I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Blue butterfly to save your progress. Can I... Oh, it's a... Hello? This is a bookstore, it's fairly empty inside. Fierce looking man is single mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. He decided not to enter. That looks creepy. That's cute. It's the Maoku Tofu store, an old woman sending the store. The variety of products lines the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. Dojima is waiting for you, you shouldn't wander up too far. Okay. Mm, I like this shop, it's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Okay. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Uh, oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? You didn't even ask for? What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm gonna work. See ya. <laughs> She's just like, well, bye. <laughs> what? I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave the bee. Nice, got it. Yum. Oh, hello? Hmm? You have something to do in the shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only June's hadn't come to town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Hmm? Have we met before? Just now? Hmm, okay. The girl's thinking to herself. Save again! Let's go! Junus? Oh. Oh, hello? Damn, the next bus isn't going to come for a while, and if you miss one bus, then you're pretty screwed. If only I had a motorbike. I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. I wonder how much they cost. Maybe I'll be able to buy myself one. This music got really loud all of a sudden. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the core? I'm ready. Let's the road. During events, press backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip the event entirely. I have to wait for all the cutscene stuff. I keep trying to click it, but nothing pops up. You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. All right. All right. Let's oh. have a toast. <laughs> this is going to happen a lot. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. How kind. <laughs> Thank on. you for your kindness. There's no need to be so formal. 
Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Don't tease her. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Oh, customer service voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Poor thing. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. I like cross boom, 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 boom. <laughs> For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. Find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. Yeah, what does your dad do? Investigate stuff. Like crime scenes. <sighs> like what? It's caught in my blanket. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Oof, buddy. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself Juness. and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. <laughs> Aren't you going to eat? You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Nice. Oh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. Oop. Quiz show is on TV. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Are there any ingredients? You open the fridge, there's some fried rice. Eat it? Never mind. You left it alone. Okay. Check out my room. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. You're tired from the long trip. You should rest. Um... Go back down. It is just ordered. Okay, fine. I guess I'm resting. <laughs> no choice, actually. Go to sleep? Yes. You'll be living in this town for one year starting today. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Interesting, interesting.
This is. The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Can I go backwards? Nope. You know, I always have to check. Making my way downtown, walking fast, changes fast, no homebound. Ooh, ooh, that felt like I was about to walk off. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. Come on in. Can I jump? Nothing. Dang. It's a box! What's in the box? They sent someone ahead. Will you continue? Wait, I can choose? Uh, yes. I wonder what happens if you say no. So, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Oh. Oh, wait, I'm fighting! Okay. Use your equipped weapon. Defend against enemy attacks. Use your persona's ability. What's my persona? Zeo. Cleave. Wakukaja. Wakukaja. I'm gonna stop this. Horrible. Let's try this. Wait. <laughs> Hmm, seems that you can see a little despite the fog. What? What? Just... I see, indeed. That is very interesting information. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Bewildering fog. Wakukaja. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Ah, will we meet again at a place other than here? Hmm, <laughs> I look forward to it. You're losing consciousness. A new day. You can hear someone's Breakfast voice. Breakfast ready. Kinda cool. It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? We're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Okay, let's eat. Do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Yeah! Let's go together. Nanako seems kind of restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. School zone. Samagawa floodplain. You keep going straight from here. Hi, Pat. Hold on. They sound like the cats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> school zone intersection in front of the school. Oh. Rest in peace, bro. 
That looked painful. You should leave him be. What about, I don't know, helping him? You arrived at the main gates of Yasugami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? I'm just gonna the guess. Teacher here is more Oka, isn't it? I'm just gonna guess that everybody in not the black school uniforms are a main character. I don't know. It's just a weird vibe I'm getting. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> What's with him? Who knows? You're pretty. <laughs> Get your traps. <laughs> Walking like that. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. As long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, I ain't okay. wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Have you even been to the big city, bro? And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Nice to meet you all. I'll just be what nice. That look you're giving that girl back there by the window. You thought I wouldn't notice? Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. Bro, chill. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. My space? <laughs> Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. You were the one babbling, my dude, but it's okay. He's the worst, huh? <laughs> yeah. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking Sucks about you. to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. The amount of times I've rolled my eyes listening to him so far. <laughs> your life this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? That's all for today. Normal I've never lectures seen will start it. tomorrow. I love it. It's so cute. I don't love the coffee ban, but I do love <laughs> Okay. Attention all teachers. So we can see.
see the chair. I moved it the a lot to the middle, top middle. I don't know where it's at, roughly. It's roughly over there. Hopefully I lined it up okay. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I put it somewhere. I need to crop down my little my thing. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further oh, notice. Oh shit. That's sus as fuck. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. <laughs> no, I need a copy unban. something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? All I'm saying is... Ah, I can't see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? H hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Bro. Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? Can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Uh, Oop. That's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. I don't know. When I hear police showed up in an instant, hey, go directly are you home. home by I just. I don't think. Let's go find out what happened. Let's go snoop. Let's go see. That's not like the thing I think of. Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satanaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Well, nice to meet you. What? This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. <laughs> I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And... I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Did he scratch Stop it right or there. break it? What did you do to my DVD? Is it when he ah. fell? What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Oh, my trial of the dragon. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the net. <laughs> uh, are you 
all right? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. We should leave him be. Man, I keep just seeing him in pain and walking away. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Uh <laughs> Okay, have you seen Hana Hana? He looks like a guy from Hana Hana. If you know, you know. What? Who, who it's are the you? eyes with the eyelashes and everything? What's up with him? What school is he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine. Huh. Well, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Ouch! <laughs> Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? No. I'd rather not. <laughs> That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? <laughs> it's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Does she have tact, or...? <laughs> We're not gonna answer this. Whoa! Are you blushing? That's not what I wanted! <laughs> Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. I... Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. 
What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Sweetheart, you talk enough for both of y'all. Hey, what's that? It's not a bad thing. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? Oh god. I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed you up. You wanted to here. see a dead body hanging? What is wrong with you? Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? What's up, Uncle? Hey, what are you doing here? Just passing by, which is true. That is what they're doing. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? <laughs> Uncle? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Adachi, how long are you gonna act like a rookie? You wanna be sent back to the central office? Oh, leave him be. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Two of them left. You decide to head away from the crime scene. Um, I can just explore. I don't think that's a good idea right now, but also, like, it feels important. I'm gonna go here, because... Technically, Nanako is nearby. It was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came to down to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. I was going to buy some tiny salt tomato for dinner tonight. What now? Well, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a house, home garden, as long as they have some unused land to work with. You can take that spot next to the Dojima place, for example. That's more than enough to land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? They sold our home garden too. Does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? Okay, let's see. Nope. There's no way to like... <laughs> change the volume. There's empty patch of dot in the open space next to the house. Nope. It will become evening when you return home.
wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. I don't want to leave Nalako alone. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. School zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified <gasps> as Miss Mayumi. Oh Yamano, shit! A 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed. Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. <sighs> Are you worried about him? Uh uh. It's his job, so things like this happen. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. How is an accident from an antenna? <laughs> a thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress. And plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Seems the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Asagami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano, had an affair with the local councilman. The secretary has been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. <laughs> Adorable. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. Yeah, we'll do it too. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Cute. Nanako sings a song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Good. Quiz shows on TV. When his dad coming home, Nanako looks, keeps looking towards the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. That seems like the wrong thing to do, but okay. Nothing catches your eye because it isn't used for Oh, wait. Same thing. Let's uh, save this. Oh. You're still tired from getting used to the new life. You shouldn't be walking around outside. You should return to room and rest. Okay, fine. Guess I'll rest. Again? <laughs> Someone. <laughs> Maybe you should help him. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. You okay? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. This case seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Agreed. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. And again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. <laughs> you are correct. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. I don't know if I should trust you. I've seen how many times you've crashed so far. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? 
First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any morons they are that are curious about the motto. Got it? Now get out your book. You Get your books out. Listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Nice. Truly a man of the people. <laughs> So, you getting used to this place? Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's local grilled delicacy. steak, man. Oh my gosh. Like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Aw, you're so nice. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. <laughs> How bad at you, Kiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Oh gosh. I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Man, it must suck the expectation of her to take that in without anybody asking what she wants to do. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Oh. <laughs> Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Does your family oh, right. own it? I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. <laughs> Sadonaka, Thanks. yours is on me, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so angry. Conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and ooh, uh. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki Senpai. Oh, sorry. Be right back. So. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, you crush? how's it going? You look beat. You look like you're hey, crush. I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh. Madam, you wound me. <laughs> hey, next to his head is the is is the woman that got cheated on. Does that mean she's in town? Did she do the motto? Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. 
Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why did I leave school? Early oh no! Yesterday? She's the one that found it! Oh no! Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. <laughs> he doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> He's a great guy. He seems nice. Clumsy. A little dumb, but nice. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. <laughs> just a himbo. We love a good himbo. <laughs> Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, senpai? Oh. <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. I was about to say, I'm getting big sister vibes. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. <laughs> oh, the flame of forbidden love. <laughs> Dude, it's not like that. Oh, he's blushing. Oh. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. <laughs> How can you get all excited <laughs> over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. I'm gonna try. try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? <laughs> wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the boom about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. I want to try it. <sighs> I would? Of course I would. Now the dinner alone with Nanako. Did your no. father call? He always says he will. Sup, Inda? Oh, he's home! Oh, she's so happy. <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Nex, 
next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. To follow up report about the incident yesterday, when Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Mizuzu Hiragi. Hiragi, Hiragi, I'll get there, an Inca singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Ew. Uh, um. The female student's face and voice are distinct, but you feel indistinct. But you feel like you've seen her before somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Bro, you suck at your job. Huh? She was killed? Oh. Uh. So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The report's enthusiasm seems to be flexing the goal. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yosuke's senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. If they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <laughs> yes. Oh, actually, I did it. <laughs> what? <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown? And they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. <laughs> Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? Sweetheart, he's asleep. No? <laughs> we can go, Nanako. I'll go with you. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Nanakosta watching TV. Dojima's is sleeping. You should leave him alone. Nothing catches your eye. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. Ah, I have a TV in my room. Rain falls into the night. You're reminded. Oh, you should check it out. Yep. You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could she hear story be true? Animate. Let's go.
locks the door. <laughs> you okay, bro? <laughs> oh yes, totally normal. Just stick your hand in the TV, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh! Ow! Yeah, but that fucking hot bro. Did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. Just have a raging headache now, it's fine. Hanako seems to have it into her room. What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. That sounds like a bad idea, bro. Sorry. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. Chia forces herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I actually broke mine trying to mimic this movie. By the way, did you see it? See what? <laughs> you know, the thing we were talking about yesterday, that midnight channel. Never mind, I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Let's go. Uh, okay. um. It's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Uh, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. Hmm. You'll catch a call. Oh, r right. Good point. If I catch a cold, it could spread, and that's not for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep keep going with you. Ha 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 ha. Come on. All right, let's go. I didn't consider plotting. I just thought it was silly to run ahead when we can just walk together. Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Sofu, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I am an expert. Plus a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. <laughs> in fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. <laughs> and since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Bear, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the zero as a number. That's why when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully this was a nice introdu introduction to world history. Y you gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Let's go. Let's fucking go. With the body being hung upside down. It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo. It's a. Uh, it's not really that important, but. Well. Yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, 
You never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looks <laughs> so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? Well, I mean, the person who is murdered was staying at the inn. What do you expect? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? It means you're gay, sweetheart. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? <laughs> How about you? Did you see it? I just noticed that his breathing animation is like a panel of his chest that's just going up and down. <laughs> you told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. It just like, it just hit me what it was. <laughs> but weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> realistic. <laughs> if it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out <laughs> on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What the oh my god. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> no need to tease me. It's quite rude, honestly. They don't believe me that you decide to go to Juniors with the others. Mood. Tunis Electronics Department. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? <laughs> Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. <laughs> Are they trying to go in? Can't get in. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? <laughs> so, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one it's over her again. here? It's the newest model just released this spring. Oh my gosh. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! 
I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... If it's TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Oh yeah, oh, I... what kind of TV oh. do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? For real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you astonished. You might be able to get put in more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! Can I breathe in there? There's an empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean inside? It seems very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. <laughs> Yosuke, of course you have to pee in a moment like this. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Get customers, they're coming! Get out of the TV. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here! What are we gonna do? Wait! Whoa! Now he's gonna wet himself inside the TV. That's bad for that's bad for like electronics. That does not sound like that was a good landing. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Oh gosh. Are you guys okay? Do you still have to pee, Yosuke? The understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked My understanding? Now. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, like, I know what that means, but like, what it does is. it mean? Whoa. What now? Did you wet your <laughs> No, stupid. Look around. Oh. Is in a stage. A studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? <laughs> I don't think we're in Inaba anymore. <laughs> Hell no. Man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Hmm. Stick around. Huh? But, but. Look, we need to get home and. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? The air. Uh, we fell. I don't see a way in. above. Or, or out. Oops. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. 
Okay, so how? <laughs> We're doomed. <laughs> Let's make everybody panic more. <laughs> Let's look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Yes, we established that. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. That's not ominous at all. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but seems that there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Chia, don't yeah. Oh, that plant needs some water. Hey, is it me oh. or is the fog lighter here? Oh, 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 the ink. Oh, oh no! Oh God! Somebody's really angry at her. No service. What a surprise. There's Chia. Can you guys slow down oh, a little? Okay. It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? Oh my god! It's a dead end! There's no exit! It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. I, I don't know about you, but my brain wouldn't have immediately go, Oh no, a dead end. My brain would have gone, Oh my god, somebody creepy is here. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. Ah, the panic. Has worn off. My bladder's gonna explode. Yosuke, what are you doing? Against the wall? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching. Well, then that's perfect. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Is that a noose? Like, low-key? It looks like it, with a chair underneath it. Chair and rope. Well, yes, gang. Kind of well, arrangement is same wavelength. <laughs> Dude, does that mean I'm a himbo too? It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Do you think they can use the mirror like they use the TV? <laughs> I've seen that poster before. <laughs> I don't mean Cheers! to. Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to the place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Hmm. Phew. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? Oh god, is it something new? There's something over there. Uh hmm. <laughs> oh 
hello? What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? It's me! <laughs> what in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! What are you? You want to fight? Sweetheart. Don't yell at me like that. The bear is... The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What is this place? This, this place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. I'm a little concerned. That's definitely a zipper, right? It's where I live. Which is you creepier live here? for some reason that it's a it's a outfit and not a, just a thing in itself. If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. All those body markings? Uh, I don't like that. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? <laughs> Why me? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Bear with so nice this bear. <laughs> Just don't know how, damn it! Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? The ground, obviously. Okay, oh, there's a zipper. Get out of here. I'm a busy bear. That's What's a big zipper pull. Knew hey, it. What are you doing? S stop pushing. Yosuke, you can go huh? finally use the bathroom. Is this... Hmm. No, wait. Sorry, my cord is a little stuck. I have to unstick it for a second. So if I hit the microphone. My stream deck cord is not long enough. <laughs> I have discovered. Also, I accidentally pressed the start recording button apparently. Did we make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? 
ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Haragi. Misuzu. Misuzu. I need to remember She's been her name. all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean... Oh, whew. Okay. That weird room we saw. Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Let's go. Hey, welcome home. Oh, I excellent. That was a mistake. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Oh, no. No! She was at school today. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. No! She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. Oh, God. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Magi Inn, that's the inn that Kiri, Yu, Kiri, Yukiko's family buns. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along. The it's commenter just report. has no tact. <laughs> the rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Oh, God. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Magi Inn, run by Yukigo's family. It seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Uh, give it some more time. <laughs> I feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Nanako, I could have gotten it. You should get to bed after you take it. People who are sick should stay in bed. This fog today, so you should go to sleep early or you'll catch a cold. Chris show is on TV, as usual. You should go straight to bed tonight. Spring cold can be tough. <laughs> because there's an easy way. Okay. Is there anything in the, in the fridge, I mean? 
Nothing catches the eye. Okay. Let's save real quick. Oh. He feels sluggish. He should rest all his day. Rest. More anime. Oh no! Saki! Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Hanako looks void. You can hear the girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear sirens nearby. It seems there's been an incident. You decide to head to school. God. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Poor thing. Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> the principal's address continues. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. I was wondering if it was Saki when they were talking about it. When they said hair to the shoulder. She totally but I didn't like say anything. In Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. 
something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki Senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying... People who appear on that TV... <gasps> Die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean... Don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? Oh. I mean, it sounds... it sounds... yeah. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. I mean, y'all didn't believe me when it happened to me, so I mean... If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go Basically. get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Hmm... Go with Yosuke. You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Oh. It's a little scary. I don't think I really like when it's like, hey, do you, do you, do you want to save? <laughs> oh. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I can't leave it alone. Yeah, I thought not. Glad to know you're that kind of guy. 
Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. That does not look like that's enough rope. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. Obtained. Golf club. Obtained. Medicine. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Sorry, Chia. Oh. <gasps> See? I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what? this look this is the same place as last time so they are connected from place to place you guys why'd you come back do you have a name i get it you're the ones behind this do you really think we'd show our face again if we were doing it you're that thing from last time wait what the hell did you just say lately i can tell someone's been throwing people in here it's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. I get it, but... You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Oh. What are you My button's about stuck. Throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Oh no. I can't say for sure either. It's not safe, for sure, Doesn't but... it bug you how this bear keeps saying someone's been throwing people in here? Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? Sweetheart, can you look at the ground and just, yeah, see the body outlines? That's the case. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember? How I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life... Li <laughs> what? Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. How am I supposed to prove that? See? So it is you guys. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up. Because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Oh, God. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here, 
shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Always been like this? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. My bad, my bad. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either for that matter. True. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Also true. Maybe you're the real culprit. What's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. There's a, a z oh, there's a zipper. You could have done that instead of just prying it off and breaking the zipper. What the hell are you? It, it's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits, but I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... Or else what? I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Oh, that's fucked, bro. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> oh, don't cry. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Mysterious Bay is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The Mysterious Bay seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. <sighs> Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? I promise. We'll say it nicely. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. Shh. But it's just getting you to help you figure things out. So look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Do we get a name? You got a name? Teddy! <laughs> of course it's Teddy. <laughs> Figures. I didn't roll my eyes. I like put my head in my hand. <laughs> but how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The 
last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Gas mask. No <laughs> glasses. glasses. Do they make me look smart? Oh. As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What do you mean defend? What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh uh, no way. I've got no muscles. You got no nothing. You're empty. Oh, oh, I'll <laughs> give you like guys me. moral support from a safe distance. <laughs> Supervisor Teddy. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Touching. No! I just touched. I didn't push or hit. Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Literally looks like a turtle on his back. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Yes, I'll help you out. Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? Same, Teddy, same. I'm also a very fragile boy. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. What? <laughs> help him back up! <laughs> you pushed him up, I helped him up. <laughs> what is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? He did say he was gonna stand away from us as moral support. You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> Your face does not give me any confidence. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I can literally hear the whistle. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. So. We get here by falling in. And it looks like the city or the town. And people have been thrown in there. So when the fog leaves, they get thrown back out. And that's why they're on high places, I'm assuming. Like, that's why they were like on the, the electric pole and on an antenna, because they fell from the sky, basically. Is my theory. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This and is, this is like kind the of the area. Here that they were found, right? Near the area? As usual, nothing because makes any sense. they said something about the shopping district, the ha stuff happening in the shopping district and causing even more problems. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Liquor store. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? could have happened wait a second they're here what shadows I had a feeling they were going to attack huh
Ah, hell yeah! Fuck yeah! I'm a badass bitch! <laughs> This golf club and a tarot card. Listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness this music. too. Try stuff out and see what works. Can I attack the shadow? I guess it doesn't make sense, because I also have that shadow. It would be knocked down compared to other attacks. Just more damage. One more attack. When attacks your weakness, they get extra attacks too, so always keep your enemy's weakness and they own in mind. Analysis. This is one tough enemy! So I don't know anything, I guess? Okay. Try this. Yeah, get him! I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. You can check on okay analysis. Nice, that worked. Hell yeah. Dead. I just went oh. Go back. Okay. Cool. Weapons by just attack. Nice. Heh. Heh heh. Feel a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Oh, I'm a teacher now. You're now able to create personas up to level two. Heck yeah. Elliot Bear has faced his other self. He's obtained the facade. Facade? I am. That word just slipped my brain. Used to overcome life's hardships, the persona is an Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, oh. You think I can do it too? Hmm. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. <laughs> I'm Sensei now. S sensei? Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear. Okay, I was close. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? That's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? <laughs> now how'd you get up that time? 
It was a recoil? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Basically. I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because oh, no. of Janess. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. Oh my god. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Again. We begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Damn, bro. Is it the money? Did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? Is this? It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling, Yosuke sitting next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? Does she like him too? I always wanted to tell no. Hana-chan. Huh? Me? Did she? Did she? That he was a real nope. pain in the ass. <laughs> I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Oh my god. Why is she being so mean? A pain in the ass? Poor Yusuke. Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel oh, no. so sorry for myself. Boo hoo. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? 
Uh, that's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy go lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Damn. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Oof. Oof, Yasuke. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Oh, oh, I don't think I I am a shadow yourself. <laughs> I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Out of the way. Ooh, oblivion. Well, I'm glad I got that medicine. How Shadow Yosuke is laughing maniacally. This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Wow, you don't say Teddy. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Yes, they said that the during the tutorial. Gets charged up. Oh, God. Nice. 
Again. In the ass. Oh, I it's don't... guarding its weak point. Scored back. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. Oh, I'm glad I did that. No. Fuck off. Dead. Oh, fuck off, bitch. I felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Level three. Something inside of me has changed. Izanagi has leveled up. Let's go. Yosuke, you okay? Teddy, don't repeat me. Yeah. What happened? You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Bro, you have to, like... <laughs> You're me! You horrible, horrible person who's saying all these things that I don't like. Yeah, I definitely think those things. That's rough, buddy. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Everyone's the same inside. Is that supposed to be comforting? Mm hmm. Damn it. You face <laughs> yourself. Apparently, it wasn't. <laughs> I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. <laughs> I mean, don't worry. Everybody has dark things they think of. Nobody's perfect or all good. They all have shit. Strength of heart required to face oneself has been made at best. Now you've got your persona, Yosuke! Good job, Yosuke! Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the... The shard used to overcome life's hardships. The persona... Jiraiya. This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice... I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. You're welcome, bro. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? 
like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. I just realized hey, my mug and you my said water that this bottle place match. is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is I was literally did about those to take a picture form because of the people who entered this world. My coffee is on know. my mug one more yet. It's never happened before. Okay, took a picture. Hmm. Oh. Because you don't usually drink coffee, right? I wish I did the stuff. I don't know why it doesn't. Okay. How's the persona gold? Golding. Um. I hold on. Yes. We're already almost to another goal, and we just reached the goal today. Let me see more of this so I know that happened. Since I paused for a second, so I can edit. We just reached this goal today. What the heck? I know. I know. Mm. Mm. I did feel really awful, by the way. <laughs> oh, I have tulips in my room next to me on my desk. It's been lovely. I like having flowers in here. I want to have flowers like all the time in here. It makes me makes me quite happy to look at them. I've like been getting sick a lot lately. Like more often than normal. And um my friend T, the one that's about to get married next month, um he said uh, that his fiance's also been getting really sick, like, this past, like, season. 
And so, I was like, damn. And apparently she also doesn't get sick that often. Like, I'm glad I'm not the only one, but damn, bro. Damn. Wait! My little goal. I wonder where it's at. I haven't looked at it. Mm, nope. Nope. I have three followers! Nice! Back to my page. Ten percent. Ten percent. What the heck, Eddie? Let's fucking let's fucking go. Let's go. Sorry, distracted. Ooh. Okay, back at it. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of the fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. We were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Yeah, let's do it. We won't know unless we try. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? I wonder if it's that creepy if empty eyes dude. are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Oh, Teddy! You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you 
you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Oh, is he lonely? We made a promise. You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> Got it? Doomed. Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! Man. What's with that face? Ow! <laughs> oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The, the rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! Poor thing. Needs a hug. I I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did Maybe. go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> Well, see you in the morning. Near the floodplain while walking home from Junis. Hmm? Oh. Oh, you look so cute. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Mm, somewhat. I'm glad to hear that. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> She's a real handful. I see. She's always full of energy. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. They're like complete opposites. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Oh, cool. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Don't forget your umbrella.
Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? <laughs> oh, sweetie. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow! You're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? Oh, she's in high school, stop. No. The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. Oh, clear up. You decided to help out with the housework. 